He hasn't been to the UK for five years and for very good reason. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has been an outcast on the world stage, believed by Western intelligence agencies to have ordered the butchery of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. It was one of the most egregious acts of state-sponsored murder of our time. Lured to the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, Khashoggi was killed and then dismembered, it's believed, with a bone saw. His body has never been found. Saudi attempts to cover up the killing were a catalogue of unconvincing and contradictory lies. But America's Department of National Intelligence concluded the operation had the personal approval of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Vladimir Putin may have been derided by Western leaders for high-fiving the prince, but times have changed. Last year, Joe Biden fist-pumped him. And now Britain's Prime Minister is inviting him here. No longer willing to let a journalist murder an appalling human rights record get in the way of a close and lucrative alliance. Human rights observers are appalled. I think that uh, for any government to be sending a message to the family of, of any individual, but more broadly also sending a message to the world about what that case means, that is essentially saying that case, that situation, your family member is secondary to us to other aims is really, really alarming. Mohammed bin Salman's government is Britain's biggest buyer of weapons exports, and it's increasingly powerful diplomatically, trying to broker peace talks over Ukraine, for instance, albeit unsuccessfully. He's also launched a multi-billion dollar campaign to lure some of the world's biggest sporting championships to his country. The world's leaders want to move on, deciding Saudi Arabia is too big and too influential to keep ostracised even if that means letting its notorious prince get away, literally, with alleged murder. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News.